In this video, I'm going to show you how to activate the IP intercom devices and add them to IVMS 4200. On the main page of your IVMS 4200, you will click on Device Management and click on Online Devices. Online Devices here at the bottom will show you all your devices that are connected to the same network as your PC. Under online devices, we are able to see the IP address of the device, the model number, the firmware version, and the serial number of the device. Now, the first step will be to activate our devices by giving them a password. So, to activate the devices, you can either select one device at a time and click on activate, or you can select all of them if you'll be using the same password for all these devices. So, you can click on activate, then you give it the password that you want to use. Right, once that is done, you'll get confirmation here on your bottom right. Now, the next step will be to change the IP addresses of the devices. Now, in order for these devices to be added to IVMS, they need to be on the same IP range as your PC. So, our PC is using the 192.168.1 range. So, we'll need to change these IP addresses of the, these devices in order to add them. Uh, we can only change one IP at a time. So, I'm going to select the first device. So, to change the IP address, you will click on this Modify Net Info option. That's on your right hand side here. That will bring up your IP settings for the device. So you can either enable DHCP or you can just go ahead and type in the IP address that you want to use for this device. And you will need to confirm by putting in the password for the device. Right. This will update the IP settings of the device. So now I'm going to go ahead and change all the other IP addresses for these devices and then we'll add them onto IVMS. Now the next step will be to add the devices onto our IVMS software. So to do that, we just select all these devices and we click on add. So now this will require the password, just the admin password for these devices. So we'll enter that in. And there's a synchronized time option. So this is to synchronize the time for these devices to match what your PC is using. So we select that, click on add. And now all our devices are online for management.